it is written. As it is written. Where does that be written? In the book of Malachi. In the book of Malachi, it is written. As it is written, come on. Jacob of Isaiah. You, the Israelite people, stand and say, God said, He loves you so much. He loves you so much that He gave His only begotten Son to save you. Come on. But Esau of Isaiah. But what God said concerned him to the Caucasian? Come on. But Esau of Isaiah. Like it or not, God said, He ate your Caucasian friend. In the Bible, he is Esau, otherwise known as Edom. Let's find out. Read up for me. Book of Malachi, chapter 1 and verse 2. I love you, said the Lord. I have loved you, said the Lord. So the Bible said, I have loved you, said the Lord. Come on. Yet he said, where has thou love us? But now you ask God, Lord, at what time do you love us? Because if you love us, we have a slavery. There was a brother asking that question, if God loves me so well, why make we not slavery? We want him to find out where we are over here. We don't want the punishment, you know. But we want to be disobedient. What would parents do not punish their children when they are disobedient? What would parents do that? It is the parents that don't have no form of order that don't bring order in their home. We are the children of God. And it's only right that a good father correct their children. We are going to the correction right now. Read up. Book of Malachi chapter 1 and verse 2. One. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet he said, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Remember earlier on in Roman 9, as it is written, we are reading where it is written. In Malachi chapter 1 and 4. It says, was it Esau Jacob's brother? I love Jacob. But the Lord said, yet I love you. Yet I love you. Come on. And I hated Esau. And God said, he ate your Caucasian friend. God said, he ate Esau. God chose you over him. So why is that your Esau is going to reign over you? Because you break the commandment that your father gave you. Therefore, you have to be punished. Read on. Book of Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth. Is For what? For whom the Lord loveth. For whom the Lord loveth. Which is you people of St. Bay. You, the children of Israel, for whom the Lord loveth, he do what? He chastened. He do what? He chastened. He punished. He punished. So if you're not going through the punishment, guess what? You don't love by God. Guess what? You are what God would call our, a bastard. So the fact that you're going through the punishment proves that you're not a bastard. You are the children of God. Sisters, do you all know that you are God's children? Y'all know that? How can you prove that, sister? Alright, read. For the book of Hebrews, chapter 12 and verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth is chastened. So for whom the Lord loveth is chastened. Read on. And scourged every son whom he has received. And he scourged every son in whom he has received. Read on. Read verse 8. But if he be without chastisement, for the God said that if you're not going to any chastisement, which means punishment, wherever all people are serving, they are worse than the people that they are serving. You understand? So God said, whosoever he loves, he chastens. But if you're not going to no chastisement, you are a bastard. Read on. But if he be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then, he, then are he bastards. And not sons. Then you are bastard. You are not the son of God. That's all you know. Who are the children of God? No brothers and sisters. How is the whole life is going for you so far? Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying it? Do you enjoy it? Let me ask you a question. Since you've been four for a big bastard, you have Do you got any rest? Has your nation got any rest since the time of slaves up to now? So how okay, can you enjoy not getting any rest? In how are we enjoying not getting any rest? Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64. Let's show you. There's a prophecy that we will not get any rest in the land of our captivity. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 65. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. That verse 64. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So as they have seen. We've been scattered among all people of the earth. All over Trinidad, Tobago, Haiti, 
India, China, America, UK, name all nations, will be scattered among all of them as it is written. Come on. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. That is testing from east to west, from north to south. Come on. And here thou shalt serve other gods. Wherever we are, we are serving the gods of our slave master. Those who work out and a chance at that state church, they are worshipping that Caucasian man to be their God. But those who work out under the social Arab slave church and the bad Arab, they are turning to Muslims. Those who went into India, Krishna. China, Buddha. Wherever our people are, they are serving the master of their slaves as God. If that's a fact. That is a fact. Come on. And there thou shalt serve other gods. So we would not be serving our God in the land of our mass of our captivity. You know why? Because our slave master would not allow it. They wouldn't even allow us to call ourselves Israel. They changed your name when they whipped out and you and said, you don't name Kunta Kinte, you name Tori. So you could never call yourself Kunta anymore. Like what you could have called yourself Benjamin, not Judah, not Ephraim, not Manessa. You have to accept the slave name that they gave you. Then you have to accept the slave God that they gave you. So God said, we will not be allowed to worship our God in the land of our captivity. Read up. And there, thou shalt serve other God. Prove it. This is our captivity. Wake up. This is our captivity. It's not the God that just your wife God just come over worship to. Hey, turn around. This is our captivity. This is our slave master rule over us. Isn't that this is God? That we bow and worship. Isn't that this is God that our wives and our sons and daughters whip to go to Sunday school and to our Sabbath school to worship? As it is written, you will serve the God of your slave master. Whether you're a police, a soldier, a doctor, a nurse, a farmer, or whatever, you will have to serve the God of your master. Thus said the Lord, because it's obedient to him. Put it out. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which, which, which neither thou nor thy father have known. The no, old forefather never knew no Caucasian man to be the God. And our father never knew no cobblestone to be no God. They only know their God, which is the God of Israel, that's who they know. But today, we serve the God for a slave master to be God. And we're hoping and praying that one day, our slave master God will come and deliver us. It's a new day, the prophets are back. And as the Bible says, you're going to know the truth. Come on. Book of Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 17. As for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain health. Bible said, as for us, our eyes fail. But open it. Why? Because we keep looking for the other nation, God, to save us. The same people are going to start slaving for them. God, I'm going to deliver you. You really believe that? You really believe that a white man going to come and deliver you? With an input in a slavery? Not so. So the Bible said, read this scripture. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain health. My brother. My brother, do you, do you believe the Bible, bro? you believe the Bible? You know that you're a son of God, right? And a son of God, it's just right for a son to obey his father, right? Do you obey your father, brother? Are you sure about it? Okay, give me one rule that your father gave you that you know that you keep. One rule. One rule, my brother. One rule that your father gave you we you know that you keep. What, what, respect to what? Respect to what? Like the respect, there must be respect to something. What is that to respect to? To every man. Where do you read that to show respect to every man and love? Where do you read that? Show love towards who? Mankind. Where do you read that? Let me show you what he said. Give me Leviticus chapter 7. Leviticus. Let's show you by the same much respect and show love to. Okay? That when you come out here, brother, we're not being racist. We're just reading God to the Lord. You see, anybody who said that we are racist, this is booking me out, take it off. Take it off because I eat we are read out. Read up on it. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So you're talking about your brother, which is your neighbor. Come on. And not suffer sin upon him. Not suffer sin upon him. Come on. Thou shalt not 
avenge or bear any grudge against the children of thy people. The children of who? The children of thy people. They were saying, everybody, the children of your people, which are the Israelites. Come on. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So who is your, who is your neighbor? Your people. That's who you must show love to. That's who you must respect to. You understand what I'm saying? Because your enemy not showing sure love and respect to you. When he hang you up on the tree, was he showing sure love and respect? When the Caucasian man lynched you, was he showing sure love and respect? When he was raping you, because you were about butt busting, when the white man raped the black man, he wasn't just the black man was getting raped. The man was getting too. Was he showing sure love and respect then? No, because he know that you are his enemy. It's the fact that today we no longer seem like that. We seem as lovers and friends and companions. That's how you know we've been messed up.